This documentary may contain information which viewers may find distressing. Viewer discretion is advised. Presented by Stacey Williams. The following information has been obtained via UK Missing Persons Bureau report, also known as UK MPB, under the 2009 Code of Practice on behalf of the National Crime Agency and missingpeople.org.uk. The National Police Chief's Council definition of a missing person is anyone whose whereabouts cannot be established and where the circumstances are out of character or the context suggests the person may be subject of crime or at risk of harm to themselves or another. The subject of a missing person to those who have someone missing in their life is that of a sensitive one. Many people in the UK have gone missing and an average of as many as 720 people have been recorded missing every single day. That's an average of one person every two minutes. What people may not realise is that the people who are reported missing, 79% of them are found within 24 hours. These people will be the ones who may have gotten lost, or lost their phone, stayed with a friend and have just forgotten to mention it. Then a further 2% are normally found within a week. These may be the people who have purposely tried to run away but just gave up, or someone who decided to make their family and friends think they've run away, to later regret it and then return home. They may, as the worst possible outcome, be found deceased. However, the remaining 19% of those 720 people are never found. That's an average of 136 people per day. That's 952 people per week and 49,504 people per year. And that alone is in the UK. The national charity missingpeople.org.uk have stated that there are approximately 340,000 missing people incidents reported each year. In May 2018, Missing People stated that approximately 210,000 of those reports were children. There is research that suggests that 7 out of 10 cases are not even reported to the police, and that this is because a person goes missing more than once and tends to return so do not feel it's necessary to report it. This also means that the number of reports may not actually reflect the actual amount of missing people as the same person may have been reported numerous times. This data has allegedly provided difficult to distinguish. Also, it has been found that some people tend to use social media sites to help spread awareness of a missing person in the hope they can be found, rather than officially reporting it to the police, as they may assume it is only temporary or may fear they may have been wasting police time. So why the mystery of the missing? Why do approximately 138 people go mysteriously missing every day, just simply vanishing into thin air? This question bugs many people. People who say, We live in a society where we have social media, CCTV and information technology. It just doesn't make sense. People immediately go to the topic of the local and national police forces, saying they should be doing a better job and don't understand why they can't find people. According to national statistics, one person can be seen around 70 times per day on camera. This could be at the workplace, mixed with car park cameras, with fleeting images through walking past shops or being in a shop. However, there are still huge masses of areas in the UK where there is no CCTV. Some local parks and parking lots don't even have CCTV. Some places only have CCTV in a shop but not actually in the car park which I recently discovered in Cardiff when an unknown person knocked my motorcycle over and left the scene to later discover there was not one camera in the hugely populated car park. So what else is there? We walk, drive, travel past hundreds if not thousands of people per day. Can we really rely on people's memories? Most people can't remember what happened a week ago, let alone five years ago. Our memories are normally there for positive and negative experiences, so trying to recall a moment of possibly seconds on a day which can't be recalled is extremely difficult. Can you remember what happened on October the 5th, 2018, at approximately 2pm? I certainly can't, unless I refer to my diary or calendar and see what day it was on. This still wouldn't explain my entire whereabouts throughout the day and what I was doing around 2pm. I may have been in the office or eating my lunch, 
Would I have seen someone? Because someone was probably reported missing at that precise moment in time and I wouldn't even know it. Why do they go missing? The possibilities of why someone is missing, as you can imagine, is probably endless. You may have even attempted to go missing yourself when you were a kid or a teenager because life was getting the better of you. It may seem a trivial thing to some, but it is life-changing for family members and friends. 31 police forces have indicated how many incidents relate to those missing from care in comparison with 23 police forces back in 2014 to 2015. While these 31 police forces have recorded 46,607 incidents, little change can be seen in children missing from care between 2015 to 16 and 2014 to 15 as a percentage of overall numbers of missing person from care. The reasons why people go missing are varied and several factors may contribute to a person's disappearance. While the categories of depression, anxiety and mental health account for 25% of nearly 50,000 entries, it is evident that more research is required to answer the question of why people go missing. The main reasons purported for missing people on the police database are as follows. Alzheimer's disease, dementia, depression and anxiety and mental health, other medical issues, suicide attempts, disorientated, drugs and alcohol, injured, lost, misunderstanding of a circumstance, employment issues, financial issues, relationship issues, school, domestic abuse, female genital mutilation, forced marriage, gang related, honour-based violence, sexual exploitation, abducted, forced to leave, homeless, thrown out, transient lifestyle, an asylum seeker, trafficking, terrorist offence or an unaccompanied juvenile. What's surprising is the highest percentage scorings are related to mental health, depression and anxiety, which totals 25% of missing people reports, and almost 23% is due to relationships. 12% are surprisingly related to drugs and alcohol, Around 4% is related to sexual exploitation and 3.73% is related to suicide. These figures are from 2015 to 2016 in the UK. Findings of missing people. In the UK, there are a total of 43 police forces. In 2015 to 2016, the police in the UK found around 40% of missing people whereas an average of 20% of missing people were found by family members. The remaining missing people were found by staff from care homes, friends or other agencies. There has been an increase on the findings of unidentified bodies found in the UK. Between 2015 and 2016, a total of 63 unidentified bodies were found, which was an increase on the year before, which had 46. So who goes missing? It was recorded that in 2014, 52% of missing people reports were male, leaving the remaining 48% female. Of the 52% males, 54% of them were under 18 years old, with 46% being over 18 and less than 1% were unknown. When we say unknown, we mean it could be a person of a transgender identity. Of the 48% of females reported missing, 68% of them were under 18, 32% were over 18 and less than 1% identity unknown. Children Children account for 60% of missing incidents, however they only account for 21% of the population, indicating they are disproportionately more likely to be reported missing than adults. In 2014 to 2015, just under 1% of incidents related to children between 0 months old to 4 years old. Children of this age are unlikely to go missing on their own accord and is considered probable that these cases involve parental abductions or instances where statutory authorities have reported entire families as missing after they have failed to attend things like scheduled appointments. Recording a missing person on the police database. Full risk assessment strategy. Low risk. 
There is no apparent threat of danger to either the subject or the public. Under 18 should not be included in this classification. Medium risk. The risk posed is likely to place the subject in danger or they are a threat to themselves or others. High risk. The risk posed is immediate and there are substantial grounds for believing that the subject is in danger through their own vulnerability as a victim of a serious crime or the public is in danger. It is expected that risk will be continually reassessed throughout an investigation to consider any new information which may influence the assessment and require a greater or lesser response. The initial risk assessment grade applied when the person is first reported as missing may differ from the grade applied at the time the person is located. Due to the way in which this is recorded in forces, it can be challenging to determine how many reports were categorised as high, medium, low or absent throughout the year. Absent reports. The term absent is described as a person not at a place where they are expected or required to be and there is no apparent risk. The application of this category varies across police forces, making it difficult to directly compare data. In April 2013, a fourth risk assessment category, absent, was introduced within the Missing Persons Guidance to enable police forces to concentrate resources on higher risk missing episodes and record, but not respond to cases which had no apparent risk. The implementation of this category has been staggered across police forces and like missing, absent is recorded differently across the police forces. Some record absent on a missing person system or on a bespoke system spreadsheet, whereas others record it on a command and control system, which means only core level data can be extracted. As of the 31st of March 2016, 37 of the 43 English and Welsh police forces had implemented and were utilising the absent category. The remaining police forces did not use absent as a category. Analysis on those who were harmed while missing. Analysis of this data shows that in most missing incidents people return home safely, a total of 96%. This is the same percentage reported in both 2014 to 15 and 2013 to 2014. 0.4% of those reported came to accidental harm. 0.2% came to emotional harm. Those found deceased totaled 0.4%, while physical injury was 1.3% and self-harm was 1.7%. Sexual events victims were 0.3%. The remaining, which totaled 95.8%, came to no harm. According to the data reported, missing adults are significantly more likely to come to some form of harm, including being found dead, than missing children, whereas missing children are more likely to be victims of a sexual offence than missing adults. Areas of most missing person reports in the UK so back in 2015 to 2016, in England, a whopping 52,834 calls were made in relation to a person being reported as missing in the Metropolitan Police. Greater Manchester had the second highest call rate, with 28,787 calls being made. The West Midlands had a total of 19,682 calls and West Yorkshire totalling 16,334 calls. In Wales, South Wales Police had 7,066 reported missing calls and Gwent Police totalled 4,978. In North Wales, they received 3,845 calls and David Powys Police received 3,276. In Scotland, they totalled 40,070 calls. The average age of a missing person. 35% of missing person reports are relating to those aged between 15 and 17 years old, with 20% of those being aged between 12 and 14. 16% were between 22 and 39 years old, and 10% between 40 and 59 years old. Based on these figures, we can see the young people are more vulnerable than adults. Costs to the UK. Now, many people may think it could cost thousands, it could cost millions, but it obviously all depends on how long a person is missing. 
Whilst the level of investigation for low-risk and absent cases may be minimal, most of the reports are deemed to be medium or high risk, which require more concerted investigation and as a result use a significant amount of police resources. It is estimated that a medium risk, medium turn missing person investigation costs between £1,325 to £2,415. Based on 76% of all missing incidents in England and Wales being graded as a medium risk, the financial cost of medium risk missing person investigations is in the range of a whopping 244 million to 445 million per annum. Unreported missing people. It is believed that there are people who go missing without being reported to police, but it's difficult to estimate how many. One such group is young people who run away from home or care. Recent Lee stated that over two thirds of young people who run away had not been reported as missing to the police. That's 68%. It is not necessary or appropriate to contact the police for those in this position, but people often do, as they may still consider their family member to be missing. A lot of families in this situation will use publicly available online resources to undertake their searches, meaning the person is not officially recorded missing absent by any police force or local authority. So, what can you do to help? You could share this video you could share and watch the Missing Mysteries videos on YouTube and the link will be found below. You can contact Missing Mysteries directly as they're currently looking for researchers to join their team. And stay in touch with missingpeople.org.uk. Share the website and gather information and research and you can get posters which you can post up freely. Tech safe at police request is one way of ensuring a missing person is safe and they send a supportive message through the charity missing people. A text can be sent to a missing person's phone to allow them to contact missing people for free and confidential support. It lets the missing child or adult know how to reach support via the phone, text and email for 24 hours a day. Text safe is sent from missing people rather than the police. And finally, you can give out the number 116000. Missing Mysteries would like to thank you for watching this video and request that you could share it just to spread awareness of how massive and impactful it is when a person goes missing. If you would like to contact Missing Mysteries, you can do so by email at missingmysteryyt at gmail.com.